Most of my peppers haven't germinated and I think that's because I need to set up the heating mat but I didn't want to turn it on because I didn't want these guys to get their roots burned off. I started a ton of tomatoes and the pink ones I'm gonna keep for myself but I might also try and put some in here to give away. The cool thing about tomatoes is that they can root everywhere along the stem so I'm gonna bury them up to here. You see all those little hairs? Every single one of them can potentially turn into roots. There you have it so look how small it looks now i'm gonna plant these tomatoes out sometime in august if i can do it before that i will but that way i get more tomatoes during the fall because here in arizona we have a second spring basically where we have another chance to plant tomatoes this tomato plant right here grew exceptionally well this is a flamenco tomato but the second one stayed really small i'm just gonna pull this guy out and keep this guy Last year, I would have tried to save every single one, even the ones that don't have leaves. But because I started so many, I have to be way more selective. This one has two of them and both of them look equally as beautiful. So I'm going to keep one and I'm going to save the other one for someone else. This is a Punta Banda tomato. To separate them, I just go like this. It's 99 degrees outside right now, but growing up, my mom used to make caldo when it was like 100 plus degrees outside, and we had no AC inside our house. We only had the windows open, the door open with the mosquitera. It's fresh inside my house, but some things, I guess, just never change. They're coming home with me.
Doritos. These only have wheat flour, shortening, sugar, vanilla, and iodized salt. <gasps> I can make these, and I think I have all the ingredients too. When I was a kid, my mom had an ice cream truck and in it she sold this specific gum called Bubalu and it came in either blue or pink and I remember it had like a jelly on the inside and I have not been able to find it for years and I always crave it. I remember eating them from the paletera when I was a kid. Oh guys, oh guys, they have a Bubalu. Oh my gosh, this is the one I remember as a kid. Yeah. I never tried a banana one. We have a dilemma. My son first chose the red mushroom, but now he has seen the green one and he says that one's better because it has actual powers, that the red one only makes you big. My husband needs a cabbage for dinner. Unfortunately, we do not have one in the fridge, but there is one in the garden. One single one, and it's right here. But unfortunately, it's being guarded by that massive spider web. Sorry. I found one, but it had worms on it. It's been a few weeks and all the tomatoes are hardened off now and they're just waiting to be transplanted into the garden but today i noticed the weirdest thing and i know it was the damn birds a bunch of my tomatoes have the labels missing and it's usually the ones on the outskirts this whole row in the back doesn't have it and i know for a fact that i labeled every single tomato plant so i wouldn't get them confused and i have seen birds swooping in but i just figured maybe they were looking for worms or trying to peck to be nosy and see what was in the containers i don't even know where they could have taken them to this right here that you see all down here this is just the birds I can't believe I ever wanted to be their friends. I don't want to be their friends, actually.